the what? The integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hand. Yes. See, God will use your skill when he can trust you. You wonder why you got no blessing? Because God knows he can't trust you yet. He's waiting on you. Big abundance of it. You think I prayed for something to fall out of the sky? No. I still ain't got what God got for me. Amen. And I ain't no prosperity preacher. I'm following the rules of the Bible that says I'm his child and I get an inheritance. But the only way I'm going to get it is walking in truth, doing what he told me to do, getting on the internet looking for a child. Too much money in it. That ain't what I got for you, boy. Right. We want to give you $60,000. That one is telling you to leave your family and leave your home and leave your ministry. That ain't God. See, you got to be able to discern who's God who ain't. Just because it's nice and good looking don't mean it's good. Because the devil knows what you might. Hey, buddy. I saw that and throw that in. Oh, God. Because the falsehood that comes out of our soul. Lying comes out of your soul. You know, that ain't, you know, you, it just comes out of your soul. You can't walk in integrity and be false in your speech. How do you even talk to tell a lie? Darn enough. Then they stand there and know that you know that you know, and they still want to lie. It's kind of like, damn, what are you really that shit? <laughs> Except somebody said who was lying and I finally looked at him and said, you know what? If you were stupid, I can respect you. But I know you're not stupid, so that means you just don't care about me. Hello? I said, because you ain't stupid. So the only conclusion I come up with is you don't care. So, okay. But I don't know what you want to say to my friend, you love me, and I'm sitting here asking you the truth and to know the truth, and you still want to lie. You're not stupid, so you just don't care about it. See you when we get to heaven. If you get it. Amen. All right. Proverbs 12. Then we're going to try and come to a close. Let's look at a few more Proverbs. Well, we have got five more minutes. Proverbs 12. We're going to do a little thing from Proverbs real quick. Then we're going to come to it. Yeah, man, I miss y'all, man. I'm a little rusty. I wish God would turn this into a full time job. But he knows me. Amen. I'm too hyper. I got to move. And ain't no way in the world I can pastor and nurture a bunch of people. I'm just not built for it. I'm built for helping and instructing and guiding people. When people call me in, they call me in to show some correction in the Word of God. Amen. But ain't no church and me being a pastor over it, they ain't want to hear correction every Sunday. <laughs> I do. You know. So most places I go, they call me in and say, time for some correction. And I come in. That's why I'm here. To help you get out of your mess. And to let you know God still loves you through it. I've been exactly where you are. Crack a dick. Homeless, jail, mental ill, mental ill hospital. I've been through it all over the last 20 years. So I am not unfamiliar with what we did. Amen? Amen? But I just hope I'm showing off Jesus. That's it. Proverbs 12, verse 22. Thy lips are an abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are what? His delight. As soon as you tell the truth, whether you're right or wrong, you become God's delight. Proverbs 17. Verse 7. Excellent speech becometh not a fool. Ooh. Much less do lying lips a prince. Hello. And you're called a prince if you're born again. A princess, if 
your board again. But excellent speech become, if not a fool. How many people we know in business, they got excellent speech. They got millions. But how many of them went in jail? Especially if people on the stock market. Amen. Think about it. Proverbs 21. Wow. Did that hurt? It hurt somebody's <laughs> Proverbs 21, verse 6. He that follows after righteousness and mercy findeth life. He that follows after righteousness and mercy findeth life. Righteousness and honor. You find life when you walk in integrity. Where you at, Mark? Huh? Where you at? Proverbs 21, verse 7. No, 21, verse 6. I'm sorry. Did I read that right? I did. I wrote 21. Oh, I wrote 21, 21. Thank you. Hey, it's still found that way. Hey, there's some lie to make a mistake. It's still lined up. <laughs> Verse 6 then. Now y'all gonna get it. The giving of treasures by a lying tongue is vanity tossed. Uh, y'all may be happy I'm here 21. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're getting it through lying, hello, and don't blame me. 19, Proverbs 19. All right, let me make sure I'm in the right verse, y'all. 1922. Anybody got the memory cap? 1922. If I was a perfect man, I would be in the with Jesus. That's one of the things you got to understand, people. God ain't looking for you to be perfect. He's just looking for you to be right in His sight. There ain't a human being in here that hasn't made a mistake. But are you honest enough to stand up and say, no, oh, I was wrong. I've never been to school for speech. I've never been to school for this. Yeah, I have learned hermeneutics and harmonies and, and how to exegese and all that kind of crap. I failed those classes. You know what I mean? I can't take a test to save my life. But the test I did take was life, and I passed it. Amen. Amen. And I'm still passing. And there's some I failed. But majority of the time, I'm trying my best to keep on passing. Now, where did I say? 19, 22. Now, we can ready to come in close. Give me two more minutes. The desire of a man is his, what? Kindness. And a poor man is better than a lion. A poor man is better than what? Lion. Amen. Woo. Man, that's the second Bible. That's right there. Two more verses. Psalms 101. Psalms 101. I got to stay on this just a couple more minutes. Y'all bear with me? And then we'll bring it back when I come back to town. Psalms 101. Verse 7. <laughs> he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that tells lies shall not wait in my sight. Shall not turn in my sight. Shall not remain in my presence. Yes. Hello. Yes. That's some hard work. And this ain't psychology. This ain't philosophy. This is God's word. Psychology says a changing of the mind. <laughs> when you're in drug addiction, homelessness, mental illness, alcoholism, and you can't fight your brain from taking it, God says change your mind. Be transformed by your mind. Sounds like psychology to me. Hello. Ephesians 4. I deal with addictions and issues. That's my job in the Bible. I'm going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. I bring out scripture that hits you 
straight in your heart. I don't tell you no soft word. I bring out the word that helped me get through my mess. Yes. And it's painful sometimes to see it, ain't it? I can tell when it's in you, y'all get quiet. I know when it's in you. You put your hand down. You don't even want to look at your Bible. I know it beats you up. It beats the heck out of me too. But as soon as I read and read and prayed, it didn't beat the other one. I saw me in it, and I saw the truth, and I still saw that God loved me through it. Amen. Ephesians. And we call it. Ephesians 4. Uh, verse 24 and 25. Ephesians 4, 24 and 25. It says, And that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man what? Truth within his friend. For we are members of what? One of no. Amen. One more final. Revelation 21, then we close. Revelation 21, and this is it. Then I'll bring it back next one. I wanted to get through the lying portion. Next time I come, we're going to be talking about cheating. Uh-oh. You still want to cheat? How many of you still cheat? Don't raise your hand. Nobody knows you. <laughs> Revelation 21, verse 8, and then we're going to close. And now this one ought to get you. If this one don't get you, because this one got me. When I saw this, I got scared. <laughs> and I'm talking years ago. And I still did some of them, but I, I, was, I was scared. Let's see if it scares you. Hopefully it will. To a place of repentance. To a place of coming clean, Harry. To a place of walking in the power and the unity of God. To the place of having some integrity. Yeah. Amen. Revelation 1. 21 verse 8. Ready? Ready? Amen. But the fearful. Look at that. Watch this. Right. But the fearful and unbelieving. It looked like the first listing there was the fearful. Do you know you are against God when you are even fearful? And I'm not talking about a God. I'm talking about the things of this world. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable. And watch this one. And murderers. Yes. And whoremongers. Yes. And sorcerers. The word for sorcery is pharmaceutical. Greek. What are y'all hearing there? Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Drugs. Mm -hmm. So sorcery in the Bible is drug addiction. Drug usage. Hello. Sorcerers. Idolaters. And what? All liars. That's the one that got me. I can get past being hot. I can get past the screw. I can get past being a little fearful. Because that drug made me paranoid. Who come? I can get past that. <laughs> but when he said all He didn't say cheat on your taxes and ain't no lie. You're still lying. <laughs> All lies. Do I have what? Shall have their part in the lake which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the what? Say. That's the reason. Father, we just thank you for my name. Thank you for this word today, Father. Woo! Man, my God, my God. I just pray people in here who want to come clean who have been worried about they can't get it right, or don't want to come to you until their life is right, I ask you, Lord God, let, let them know that you still love them in the condition that they're in. And until they come to you and we are willing to change their behavior, willing to change the way they speak, <coughs> willing to have an effort in changing their lifestyle, that you would love them through it, Father, that you would grant them the desires of their heart. Because you have a plan for everybody in the and I thank you for my plan. I thank you for my enemy's plan. I thank you for the plan you have for this year. Yes. And I'll be careful to give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, house of grace, say amen. 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 amen.